Hey everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in today's lesson we're going to show you how to play Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. Now this can be a three chord tune. We're also going to show you how to take a couple of those chord shapes, turn them into seventh chords to make it a little bit more authentic, but it can be a three chord tune with the most common strumming pattern ever. Um, if along the way you find you need any extra help, there's a few resources. My free ebook, which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming, all the stuff we do in this song, we take care of there. There's also my complete beginner's course, which is like that, but more of a step by step walkthrough of the entire process, start to finish. You know, developing your rhythm and your strumming from scratch, working on chord switching, putting it all together, learning songs along the way. Um, I also have a chord chart for this available on my Patreon if you need help following along with the lesson. Otherwise, let's just get started and jump right in with the chord shapes. First, we have a D chord. And from there, we switch to A. And to do that, we leave our third finger down, drag it down one fret, so it's on the second fret, and then we complete our A shape. And instead of the A chord, you could also play A7, which is the same thing, but we can just take our middle finger off. That's an A7. So it just has one less finger. And uh, instead of using our index finger, I like to use my middle finger there on the second fret of the D string. It just feels like a smoother switch. So from D, we would be same steps, you know, move your ring finger over, but then you just put your middle finger down on the second fret. It's even a bit easier than the A chord. And the verse is just D and A. At the very end, we're on a D chord, and then a D7 chord, which is optional. You could just stay on the D chord. And D7, it's the second fret of the highest string, of the thinnest string, with my ring finger, first finger on the first fret of the B string, and then my middle finger on the second fret. It's kind of like a mirror image of the D chord. And you don't have to play it, you can just stick with the D chord, but if you'd like, I would practice switching from D to D7 a whole bunch of times just to build up that muscle memory. And be consistent when you do it, you know, maybe place that finger first and then these two, or that finger first and these two. Whatever you do, do it the same way every time so you can build up consistent muscle memory. And those are all the chord shapes we need to strum through the verse. So let's just try this. Remember, anytime you see a seven chord, you can just use the plain version of that chord. So if you see A7, you can use A. If you see D7, you can use D. Let's just try this with downstrokes only, counting along so we can get the, the chords in the right order, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. So notice I counted a particular way. I went one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, and so on. I replaced the first number with how many times I'm counting to four. And when we think about it that way, we basically did the D chord six times, then we did the A chord or the A7 chord eight times, and then D and D7. And the song's really simple that way. You know, it's it's a lot easier to keep track of where you are and not get lost. So that's a really good habit to build up, especially if you find yourself getting lost when you're trying to play along with the song. So that's the, the chords needed for the verse. Let's add the strumming pattern to that before we move on and learn the chorus. The strumming pattern goes like this. I'll do it a little bit slower. Three and four and one. 
that's the most common strumming pattern ever. I have a video or a tutorial where we just go over that. I'll put a link to that in the corner, but let's take a minute and go over it right now either way. Um, the first half of it is a down stroke on beat one and then a down up on beat two. I want you to try it that way. You know, when you count one, you do a down stroke. When you count two, you go down, up, and then count three, four out loud, just so we can do a four beat chunk when we're practicing. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The second half goes miss, up, down, up. So we're missing the strings on beat three, and then we go up, down, up. And I want you to practice it by, let's, let's mute the strings, just so we're not holding a chord shape and getting those lines in our fingers. Um, we're gonna count one, two, miss, up, down, up. And we're gonna do that nice and slow. One, two, miss, up, down, up. One, two, miss, up, down, up. One, two, miss up down up let's just try it like that over and over again when you're ready we can put both halves together three four one two miss up down up and like i said before i go over this strumming pattern a lot more in depth in its own tutorial as well as in my uh, free ebook and my complete beginners course and my latest course strumming made simple you know it's a really common strumming pattern so we attack it from a lot of different angles there's lots to learn from this kind of stuff from really mastering the basics anyways let's take a moment now and put that strumming pattern together with the chords from the verse we're going to start out on a d chord and remember our way of counting along well now, we can count how many times we've done the strumming pattern. So we'll do the strumming pattern six times on D, eight times on A, and then D, D7. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go to D. Cool, so that's the verse. Next, we're gonna take a look at the chorus, which requires one new chord shape, G. And we're gonna be switching from G to A. So I recommend working on that a little bit. When I switch, I like to put down my first finger and then those two fingers together. So I do it in two steps. I have my G chord, then I go one, two. And once you do that a whole bunch of times, you can just do it all in one motion, nice and smooth. First downstrokes only, just so we can count along and get the chords in the right order, just like we did with the verse. Starting on G. One, two, three, four. So it started off pretty straightforward, just four beats for each chord shape, but then we got to that point where we played two beats of D 
One, two, two beats of A, three, four, and then one, two, three, four on the G afterwards. Now at that point of the tune, they do what's called a breakdown, where you just strum beat one of that chord shape and let it ring out. So once we add the strumming pattern, at that point, we're not gonna be doing the strumming pattern. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, just playing one downstroke on each chord, letting it ring out and counting along. So let's just try that, that little bit. Starting off on D, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Try that a few times, and when you're ready, we can take the strumming pattern and add it to our chorus. Starting off on G, one, two, three, four. strum each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's all the components of this tune. Now let's put the verse and the chorus together. Let's just play them back to back so that we can get used to transitioning between the two parts. I'm gonna play the verse, the chorus, and then I'm gonna start playing the second verse just so we can get used to all the transitions we need to play through this tune. One, two, three. Right, so that's how you play Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. If you need any extra help, don't forget about my resources. There's my free ebook, my complete beginner's course, and the chord chart on the Patreon page. Other than that, have a fun time practicing, and I'll see you soon.